Hi everyone! In this video, we will learn how a diff command works in MATLAB, and we will show multiple examples to show its uh, principles. So I have opened MATLAB and saved a script. So let's define two different variables or two different arrays to see how this diff command works. Before that, we will see what is the diff command actually. So let's type help diff. So this is the diff command we're talking about. So a diff command in MATLAB actually calculates the difference between adjacent elements in an array. So it's saying is the difference an approximate derivative. So it's an approximate derivative. So we can use this diff command to calculate derivative in MATLAB. So this diff is actually there for calculating the difference. And we can use this in various form. Here there's an example given. So what I will do is that I'll go ahead and define two different arrays to show how this works. So let's define um, an array A. Let's say that array goes from 1 to 10 with an increment of 1. It's a shortcut to define that. And let's define B manually. Let's say 3, 5, 1, 9, 13. Six. I just defined it randomly. Okay. Now what we'll do is that we'll use the diff command to see how does it work. So diff underscore a is a variable. Let's say diff a. That's the first one. And let's define diff underscore b. Diff command b. So this is going to calculate the difference between the elements of a. And this is going to calculate the difference between the elements of B. So if I just run it, now as you can see, there are here the first one is showing diff A, which goes from uh, column one to column nine, which is one. Because for each and every element of A, the difference is one, because that's how we define it. So if we go to A, double click on it. We can see that array A is defined as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what's diff command is doing is just calculating the difference between the, these two adjacent elements and putting it here. That's 1 and also 1. So that's a constant increment for each element. So that's showing 1. The, the diff command for B, if we go here, you can see it's different than one because we have different um, elements or numbers here. As you can see, three and five, so it's calculating the difference is two. So that's the first element here. Now five and one, so what it's doing is that one minus five, which is negative four, the second element. So, and then nine minus one, eight, then 13 minus nine, four, six minus 13, minus 7, 19 minus 6, 13, so on. So that's how a diff command works. And with using this diff command, we can actually calculate the derivative. Um, now, we can also define this diff to calculate derivative or calculate the second order derivative. Now, this is not actually a derivative command. To calculate a derivative, we have to define this diff and then we will calculate the derivative. But for, na for now, let's see, uh, let's see how can we define, um, we define second order difference. So that's the question. How can we define a second order difference? What is a second order difference? Second order dif difference would be to take a diff command. So it's calculating the, the the difference between these two elements and then if we take this diff b and take a derivative now what it will do is that it will take the difference between these two um, elements now instead of taking it twice we can say um, that we want to calculate the second order difference to do that let's define it again let's say diff a two diff a what we need to do is just to take a comma two so that's suggesting that calculate the second order difference, meaning calculate the difference between the differences. And also if we do for B2, diff B comma 
too. So now if we run it, now as you can see, um, these are all zeros because the these are all ones. So every difference for these ones are zeros. So that's zero. Now for this ones, if you see the first element is negative six because this is negative four minus two is negative six and then eight minus minus four is twelve and so on. So that's how we can calculate the second order difference. So with these we can calculate a derivative and in a later video we will explain how to calculate a derivative um, using the diff command. One thing to notice here is that Using the diff command always reduces the number of elements by one. So here, if you see a, a has 10 elements, which is one from 10. But if we calculate the diff a, that's one to nine. So that's also one element less. So if you want to plot these, you have to make sure that you're plotting just the nine elements because it's not going to match. So that's only you have to learn. Um, we will see how to take the derivative. That's, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.